I am finishing up my map from Galatians 5, 22 and 23. And this map could have gone in so many different directions, but the Lord kept leading me back to one truth. These fruit here in Galatians, God embodies these. He embodies every single one of these. And we are gifted this divine nature through the Holy Spirit. And scripture teaches us that God shows us forbearance and long suffering and patience. And the reason in Romans 2, 4 is to lead us to repentance. God does not show us these things because he's lazy or because he doesn't care. He shows them and he demonstrates his patience towards us to lead us to repentance. And then all throughout scripture, he is urging us to treat other people with kindness and gentleness and patience. And it's not to make us look weak or to make us look like a pushover or to make us look like we don't care or to make us feel more righteous in our own eyes. I want to share with you what he showed me this morning of why we are to treat people with gentleness and patience. In 2 Timothy 2.24, it says, the Lord's servant must not quarrel, but must be gentle to everyone, able to teach and patient, instructing his opponents with gentleness. Okay, God is urging us to demonstrate these characteristics to other people. This is why. Perhaps God will grant them repentance, leading them to knowledge of the truth. And this is the part that the magnitude, the magnitude of of how we treat other people, just, it just got me. Then they may come to their senses and escape the trap of the devil who has taken them captive to do his will. By us showing people gentleness and patience, God could work through us on that person to bring them to repentance in the knowledge of the truth so that they may escape the trap of the devil. And in the moment, it can be so hard because our patience can be thin. We might not feel gentle. This might be a person that the last thing we want to show them is a kind word and gentleness, but we have to remember the magnitude of how God could work through us when we demonstrate these things to other people. I just think that this is something that we just need to be reminded of all probably on a daily basis, but, um, but a truth that once again, it holds so much magnitude when we really understand how God can work in that situation simply by demonstrating these fruit of the Spirit.